playground at Lake Glendale Campground. What'd you see on your walk there, honey? There's a really nice nature trail right on the water's edge all the way, maybe all the way around. Yeah, they said it was like three miles all the way yeah, around the lake. Check it out sometime.
Hey guys, what's been the best part of the trip? What's the coolest? The playground. Josiah, what do you think? That cave we That little cave? I saw a tree. Swimming in the creek. Yes. Josiah? I know. What's the coolest thing of our camping trip? It's not your Crocs, is it? Josiah. Wee-hoo. What's your favorite thing of the trip, man? <laughs> well, what are you doing? The creek. The creek we were just splashing in? That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, Garden of the Gods. Uh, that's four and a half. Four and a half? Four and a half because I don't want to. Not four. I don't like ice. It's going down by the minute. Um, what about Jackson Falls? We saw it from the top only, but... Um, hey. No, we are Those are cool. Those are four and a half. What about the... What about the color, colorful campfire? Oh, yeah. It's only because of me. Whoa, this shine sunny. How many, star, how many stars do you give the colored campfire? I said four. I said four. I like how it turns. How about s'mores? How many s'mores? I'm giving four and a half. Four and a half. Yes. Ten stars. Ten stars. Uh, out of five? Yes. 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 <laughs> Again, thank you for joining us in Adventures and Pop-Ups, where we share campsite reviews, tips, tricks, hacks, and mods to help you have a more fun, exciting adventure in your pop-up. Thank you for watching our adventures in the Shawnee National Forest. We camped at Oak Point Campground at Lake Glendale in the Shawnee National Forest, which is in Southern Illinois. Beautiful. What did you think of the campgrounds? It's a beautiful campground, beautiful area, everywhere you go in Shawnee. Uh, it's just, it's God's country, so it's beautiful. Uh, yeah. The campground was very wooded. Uh, the lake was beautiful. There was a beautiful trail all the way around the lake. Um, yeah, it was wonderful. We'll talk about backing in. How was the site? Uh, most of the electric sites that I saw were all level. They had squared off areas, gravel. Um, yeah, it was pretty easy. Uh, there's a couple of trees. Sometimes if you get a smaller site, the trees are kind of close together, but you still have a good 10 to 12 feet. Not too hard to get in between those. Yeah, so speaking of sites, it is first come, first serve. But if you're able to get some choices, we wanted to let you know some campsites that were good. We got the last one. We were in number six. We didn't have a choice, but it was great. Beautiful sites we noted were numbers 11 through 14, number 13, and number 23. Um, was 23 the one that had a little private beach area? 13 was the best. 13, 13 was the best. That was my favorite. Um, yeah, there was like a nice little water uh, walkway down to the water and then a nice little like eight to ten foot clearing you're not supposed to swim right there but right. you know the kids wouldn't be swimming if they were just standing in the water yeah it'd be, it'd be fun to just <laughs> get your feet wet don't tell them we said that right right but if you brought a kayak or a canoe then you have lake access right there and all of those um sites um close to the lake kind of have like a little path or a trail oh, down to um down to the lake and so that's kind of nice. You, then you have access to the whole trail all the way around the lake if you want to walk around the lake and enjoy it. Yeah, a two, that was a nice trail. Three, three mile walk. Uh, we just did several sections of it. We didn't do the whole thing, but. Right. Um, it's pretty. Yeah, 13 and 23 were the best, in my opinion. And then uh, 14, if you couldn't get into 13. For water and electric. For water and electric, yes. Yeah, there were so lots more non electric sites. We took, um, we took some video footage of the entire all the loops so we may include that here or maybe we'll make a separate video for people interested for an actual drive through that shows all the sites the drive through shooting drive through shooting the kids love that now um so yeah it was pretty easy to get to it had water it had electric um it was a nice roomy site however i'm knocking them down even though they probably can't help it but there was poison ivy everywhere not actually on the gravel obviously but we had quite a patch of little bit of woods behind our campsite but we had to tell the kids don't go over there because there was just poison ivy everywhere there was no safe place mm -hmm. yeah it was really it was thick it was, it was not it was good. like don't walk in the woods <laughs> or don't walk off the trail anyways yeah um they had ice and firewood 
Yep, they had three bundles of firewood for 10 bucks. You get about eight to 12 logs. I picked out the ones with 10 to 11 logs. <laughs> bathrooms. The bathrooms by us were okay. Not great. We didn't even check out the good They were one. mediocre. We realized that there was a larger bathhouse farther by the non-electric sites. Yeah. We didn't even check it out. It was like another 75 yard walk, so we just didn't feel like We just didn't bother. <laughs> we just did the close one. However, I wish I had because the shower never got hot. Shower it, didn't get hot, yeah. It was lukewarm. It was that okay, was, but you know, less desirable. I was not okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Uh, but you know. Cold showers are fun. It, it's makes, it makes you shower faster. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, overall thoughts, 4.5 out of 5 stars. I was thinking three and a half, four. Three and a half. Well, eh. yeah, the bathroom, the hot, the hot the water. The warm shower, yeah, yeah. the poison ivy. All things except oh. for the hot shower, 4.5. Also, there is a beach. We were not able to check it out. It's only, it's open Memorial Day through Labor Day, and it's not Memorial Day yet, so we were a little bummed about that, but that's what it is. August, August to Labor Day, it's only open on the weekends. Yeah, it's all the information's on their website, and they do have a pretty good website. Um, you can rent kayaks, what, what do canoes rent? and paddle boats. Kayaks, canoes, paddle boats. Five bucks. Um, paddle, that would have been fun. Paddle boats are like three bucks per person. So, but we decided to fill our time with Garden of the Gods, which was forty-five minutes away. Right. And then um, I chose Oak Point Campground because it's a little centrally located. The Shawnee National Forest is huge. It's like the whole southern tip of Illinois. So Oak Point is kind of in the middle. Garden of the Gods was 45 minutes east. Jackson Falls was half an hour north. Giant City would have been, I think, half hour, 45 minutes to the west. We've done that before. It is awesome. And it's highly more, recommended. It's more safe than Garden of the Gods, but yeah, Garden of the Gods was scary but amazing. It, it wasn't <laughs> that scary, but it's scary yeah. if you start climbing out on those rocks close to the edge. Then. Yeah, if they're, you stand they're big, the they're big and mostly flat, so it's if you don't go too close to the edge, it's not that scary. <laughs> if yes. you go trying to explore caves and climb around on those rocks, then it's Let's not talk a about little a little bit more risky. Good playground. One playground. I wish there was another playground on the other loop. There's yeah. just one playground for the whole place. Yeah, it wasn't that big. It was fine. But, you know. The kids loved it. It's good for a 15, 30 minute energy burn. It was very shady. I liked how shady it was. Very wooded. All the loops were very wooded. Um, I suppose some sites were a little more than others, but really all of the sites were quite wooded. You were mostly isolated from your neighbors. Unless you pay for a double... If you have, if you're going with a large group, you can pay for a double site, mm -hmm. both electric or non-electric have doubles. And those are designated places that are much larger. You get two picnic tables, one or two fire rings. Yeah. I don't right. remember. A couple of tables, one or two rings. So that was a nice feature. Some du of those double sites parking, were huge. You know, double, double spots for yeah. campers. So, but not all of the doubles are really big, but most of the double electrics are, um, but some of the double tent sites weren't super huge but most of them were pretty spacious and pretty yeah. pretty you know pretty decent size although a lot of them didn't look very level when it comes to the just regular non-electric they so right but you could find you could find a few that were and there was like 35 34 that were electric um 34 35 35a were all right by the good big shower and they, yes, they, those were kind of nice. toward the loop uh, of the non-electric, but um, not really close to the lake, so, um, you know, but, yeah. All right, so we loved our trip. Um, I would probably stay there again. I did probably like Giant City's campground better, don't you think, as far as the Shawnee National Forest goes. We've also stayed at Redbud Campground, which I think was primitive. Um, back when we were tent campers, it was a Giant City didn't really have many trees. It was more open. Yeah, we'll do a review, a separate review on that later when we I do mean, our... I like the woodsy feel. That's kind of neat. And if you can get up on the lake, see, you can't really reserve the spot. So if you that get down early, you know, then you can find a good spot. Or if you just want to plan a middle of the week trip, then you can get, you know, the best spot. Yeah. So 
Um, depends on wh where you want to go, what you want to see, how much you want to do, and where you want to be located in the Shawnee. Yeah. So, so plan accordingly. And yes. you don't have to try and do too much, but... You know, if you just do a few trails, you want to go see a couple of sites. Just chill out by the campfire. Yep. yep. Have some good times. How do we usually do it? Just kind of. What do we do? We just kind of go and set up and chill out. And then the next day we go yeah. exploring. And yeah, we, we went in the morning on Saturday. And so we got there. I plugged in the chili so it could start warming up. And then it was ready. When we were all set up, it was it was lovely. We got all set up. And the chili was ready, so we sat down and ate, and then explored around the campgrounds, went to the playground, looked at the trail, and then we saved our major exploring for the next couple days. Yeah, and we got it worked out good. We got down there what, like eleven thirty or something? I don't know, something like that. And I think this was like our ma first major setup with this camper. Yeah, this was our major it, voyage. Yeah. This was our maiden voyage, so we well, were. It took about a half hour, didn't it? It probably took. A little bit longer it took closer to an hour it took closer to an hour but it probably took 20 to 30 minutes because you know we just got there and take a bathroom break and just kind of out of sorts so it took the better part of an hour but it really shouldn't have or it didn't but lunch was ready when we were but done, lunch so. was ready when we were done that was lovely and snacks kept everyone happy. Until oh, the snacks. <laughs> well, thanks again for joining yes. us in Adventures with Pop-Ups and this campsite review. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Yes, and don't forget, please, it does us a lot of good for the channel, for YouTube's algorithms. If you hit the like button, if you subscribe, if you drop us a comment, let us know what you think. Let us know your experiences if you have been here or if you want to go here. I've already had a lot of feedback on Facebook um, groups that I've posted our pictures in. Yeah. A lot of people have already said, oh, this looks amazing. I'm putting it on my bucket list. So yeah. I hope this is helpful to you. Yeah, you got you to gotta get down to Garden of the Gods and it's amazing. smash that like button. <laughs> hit, that, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Share it. Comment. Yes. Leave a question, leave a comment, tell us where your favorite place is in Shawnee, what your favorite trails are, favorite lakes, beaches, swimming holes. There's so yes, much down there. Tons. We've only seen like a small fraction of it and we've been there several times. Yeah. So we'd love to know your favorite spots. Also, bonus points, if you could tell us how to get to the bottom of Jackson Falls. We hiked, keep walking. we hiked keep and walking. hiked and hiked. We saw it from the top and it was really cool, but we wanted to see it from the canyon and we got tired of hiking. We just we went and found a water hole. We wanted to swim down under the main waterfall. Yeah, we never made it. We got a little over halfway, I think. We don't, we don't know. There weren't any maps. There was one map it was when kind you first of a got hard, there, but you couldn't take a map It was kind of a hard you. hike with four kids It was a lot. dog. Yeah. So we gave up after about five or 600 yards, <laughs> but that's okay. We found a great little swimming hole, little waterfall on the yeah. top end that was in a safe area. Yeah, it was great. 50 or 80 yards from the bigger waterfall, bigger yeah. drop off. So, yeah. Right. Yep. All right. Thank Thanks. you for watching. Thanks for joining us. Check out some of our other videos. We'll keep posting more every Monday. Don't forget to hit the bell. And that way, when a new video comes up, right. you'll be able to jump on on Monday night or uh, if we if we throw a bonus video in. Right. We love bonus. Thanks. Thanks.